do we get our chalice upgrades from Vingalmo, maybe? Hello there. What can I do to help? I found a new candidate. Oh, right for a new candidate. Gift. I'm sending you to welcome this soul into our family. Who will it be? Haran manages oh God, the inn so in Winterhold. A forsaken place under the shadow of the college. She will help us keep an eye on the mages. Put her mind to rest. Allay her fear through vampiric seduction. And when she is in a pliant condition, embrace her and bite her on the neck. <laughs> you want to keep an eye on the mages, huh? Yeah, if only you had someone like that. You know, maybe someone rising through their ranks, someone pretty high up in those ranks. If only. <laughs> When we had last left what the last dragonborn, oh goodness, they were on a vampire super quest, killing other vampires, weirdly enough. Also, going off and doing more Dawn Guard implicating attacks, and also Thieves Guild work. Now, however, the smaller fish had been fried for now, and it was time to resume their ultimate plans. Yes, the prophecy would perhaps see its fruition soon enough. This is the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Welcome back. Now, also, you'll notice we're here in Proudspire, a place where we very frequently do not uh, go. Stowed away and sold off a whole bunch of stuff. Got our inventory cleared out. A uh, pretty significant amount, at least by my standards. You know what? I'm thinking. Maybe mm -hmm. let's fucking get rid of Cicero. Cicero. Is at your service, oh great and powerful right. listener. It's a little wild that we have Cicero right now and Serana. Right? It's a little wild, especially given how much Cicero talks and how much sometimes Serana talks. So goodbye. Home again, home again. <laughs> I'll return to the night, mother, straight away. Great. Okay. Now, let us head on back out to. Hmm. Do we want to turn in our thieves guild stuff? Nah. We'll hold off for now. Let's head on back to the castle and get all this shit dealt with. All right. There we go. Good. Let's do a quick save just in case. And let's head on over. Let's get ready with Call Dragon just as well. I think we still need to call Durnavir at least one more time, right? Maybe two more? I can't remember. We need to remember the next time we have, like, an opportunity to do it where we're not going to need our shouts off cooldown, right? Okay. Oh, look. Hey, they're giving us one of these, too. Just a little fun hey, treat. Summoner. Conjure me up a warm bed, would you? See, this is what happens when you get rid of, like, <laughs> magic everywhere in Skyrim. This guy thinks you can conjure up a bed. Come on. You can't do that. You can't do that. This guy doesn't know the first fucking thing about conjuration. You can't conjure up a bed. What, is this a joke? Is this a joke? Huh. I wouldn't have known. Given the state of things in fucking Skyrim land. Given the absolute state of things. Jeez. There we go. Let's get Ben Will ready. <laughs> Great. Okay. Seemed to have worked. Yeah, there you are. Holy shit, you're going so fast! Okay, do a quick save, so in case we miss. Which seems incredibly likely right now. Oh dear lord. Oh, thank goodness. How can I serve you? How can I serve you? There we are. All right, fly us back to the castle, if you will. All the way over here. Great. 
Should we turn in and accept the next quest, though? As far as our, like, yes, optional three. side Waggles. stuff? I think we ought to. Just on the, like, off chance of when we're out doing the, like, main story for the DLC, we, like, just so happen upon- Whoa! <laughs> hey! I didn't know this could happen out here! Shit, okay, fuck, why not? But, uh, just on the off chance that we, like, happen by an area that we need, we may as well, you know? Okay. Good. You know, as much as I appreciate it, as a player, it's wild that not only did they get rid of the, like, iron wrought gate that was protecting this, but so too did the guardsmen just like retire permanently. <laughs> the like watchman who was like watching the front door like very astutely before we showed up. Dude is fucked off. I don't even know where he's at. Right? Wasn't well, he like a like some old dude? Some like old bald dude? I don't even know where that guy went. Alright. Well, let's head over here. Turn this one in. Hey, I've done it. I saw more than enough political maneuvering in my time in right. House Right, well, Dress. the vampires have been dealt with. You have done well. It may seem cruel that we hold our thin-blooded kin in low esteem. I don't give a shit, we're fucking vampires. Who gives theirs. a shit? We fucking fuck people up all the time. Who, who fucking cares? We're, we're out here with fucking Moloch Bao, one of the absolute worst. <laughs> right? Like, I mean, come on. <laughs> it seems cruel. Who fucking cares now at this point? Speak with Vingalmo. He has something for you. Oh, Vingalmo. Until next time. Does Vingalmo sometimes have something uh, that we do seek? I think so. Well met, brother. I think sometimes we get our chalice. Do we get our chalice upgrades from Vingalmo, maybe? Hello there. What can I do to help? I found a new candidate. Oh, like the a new gift. candidate. I'm sending you to welcome this soul into our family. Who will it be? Haran manages the oh inn God, in Winterhold. So a forsaken place under the shadow of the college. She will help us keep an eye on the mages. Put her mind to rest. Allay her fear through vampiric seduction. And when she is in a pliant condition, embrace her and bite her on the neck. <laughs> you want to keep an eye on the mages, huh? Yeah, if only we had some vampire that was around the College of Winterhold to keep an eye on those mages out there. If only you had someone like that, you know, maybe someone rising through their ranks, someone pretty high up in those ranks. If only. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck off, Fingalmo. Understood. When you offer the embrace, do so away from prying eyes. Our new sibling will then likely require rest while her blood undergoes the change. Right. Return to me when your part is done. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. I wonder where they're gonna put the right when like is she also going to move in a coffin for us? Like is one of the bedrooms at the Winterhold Inn just gonna straight up have a vampire coffin? <laughs> like what the, how the fuck is that yes. gonna go down? How may I serve oh yo. I am about Hey, this dude's wearing a blindfold here. now. I have lived. He wasn't earlier though, right? Be bothered with them. Oh, I've brought the Elder Scrolls. Oh, do we take them to you? Oh, yeah, bring him to Dexian. Oh. Okay, shit. No wonder your well, like, whole status and situation is updated. Okay. I brought the Elder Scrolls. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you with the scrolls any longer, my lord. Please, do not be angry with me. What are you talking about? Is it... How did you go blind already? How did it... How did it happen? What have you been looking at? You've been- you've been sneaking a peek at other Elder Scrolls? Are you fucking kidding me? What are you talking about? I'm afraid in my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the time I needed to prepare. The failure is purely my Oh, this was like an overtime effect. As you can effect. see from my bandages, it's not that I am unwilling. It's that I am physically unable. Okay. <laughs> You're blind! We- we exclaim! <laughs> we finally noticed we've just been talking to this guy, we're just like- <gasps> Oh shit! You're blind! <laughs> oh please, my lord. Please, 
Forgive me. I don't suppose there's a cure. If only such a miracle existed, I'd overcome the impossible in order to secure it, if it meant pleasing you. Hmm. That feels like something that, that could be worked out in the future, you know? That feels like a potential plot point. Someone does work out a way to do it. Anyway, then we have no further need of you. Although I would gladly die by your hand, perhaps I could offer an alternative way to read the scrolls. Okay, go on. Oh, thank you, my lord. Thank you. Just get to it. Come on. <laughs> what is... Why are we so weird right now? <laughs> <laughs> Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. What? Explain this ritual. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Disgusting. Once enough of the Moths are following, They'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Oh, they're going to put holes in all of my clothes. Carefully gather the bark. How? In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade. Really? An implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Why do so few get to perform it? They, they just rather you all go blind? Like, if this is an alternative way, why why are y'all not doing this more often? Like, I, it would make sense if, like, yeah, we don't want to fuck up the tree. We only have so many. Ergo, we can't do it all the time. Right? But that seems to not be the case right now. Okay, do I need to read the scrolls in any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Is it normal for moth priests to go blind? Sadly, yes. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years. But in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. What went wrong? Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. <laughs> You're telling me. There is me. quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Yeah, imagine that, but also you're prone to procrastinating? Holy shit. You'd be lucky to read one in your entire life. How's a moth related to the Elder Scrolls? Well, as I'm sure you figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. The voice of the Ancestor Moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. Moths barely make a sound, let alone speak. Oh, the moths don't literally read the scrolls, <laughs> but they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the moth priest to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the glade, you should be able to hear their song, a soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal auger and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. That's so weird and cool. Okay, how are there other creatures on Tamriel that in, have like strange interactions in that way? Like the closest thing that I could think of is like a hist tree, which isn't even technically of this planet, right? There's like a popular theory that they're alien in nature or whatever. How does that help the Moth Priest? By having the Ancestor Moths close to the Moth Priest, they can utilize the conduit and share the Moth's augury. Only the most resilient of priests can do it this way. Ah. It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. Then how do I even stand a chance? You've come this far. And you've found several Elder Scrolls. Whether you believe it or not, the Scrolls have a mind of their own. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. 
Because of this, I strongly believe you were meant to hear the ancestral chorus. Only one way to find out. <laughs> I, I love that. I love how, like, ridiculous and, like, convoluted a lot of it is. And, like, it's so perfectly handled because of, of all the preparation that they took in the world building and writing with the Elder Scrolls, right? Of it being like, yeah, they have, like, a mind of their own. If they didn't want to be read, they would have not all been found by you, right? Like, it's, it's so... Fortune smile upon you, Malone. It's so stupid, it's like genius, right? Like, I am above the petty in any here. other sort of setting, I feel like we would just be like, okay, them. that's ridiculous. <laughs> right? But I don't know, for some reason, it just, it just works here, right? It's very thematic. It, it's very consistent with, like, Elder Scrolls' way of storytelling in this way that's like kind of open-ended, kind of open to interpretation, written in vagaries that allow a lot of possibilities, you know? It, it, it's all, like, open to uh, permitting, I don't know, a certain story to be told, right? A lot of, a lot of the mechanics and systems of the world, like the way that the world functions, it's all in service of, like, creating a story to service a player experience, right? And sometimes it does sound ridiculous, I but because it happens so much in the world of the Elder Scrolls and stuff, it's like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> right? It's like, yeah, of course this happens. This, that's just Elder Scrolls, right? That's, that's like a staple that it's so bizarre like that. Okay. Well, I guess we're going all the way back to, uh, what do you call it, land? to the glade that we had found before. Oh, gosh. After discovering that Dexian has become blind, I've had to secure alternate means to decipher the Elder Scrolls and locate Oriel's bow. It's been suggested that I might be able to read the Elder Scrolls myself if I use an ancient technique performed by the original Moth Priests. I'm now on my way to a place known as the Ancestor Glade to discover the origin of the mysterious ritual. Wait, the origin? This is where they came up with it? I didn't know that. Did he say that? I don't think his ass said that at all. Okay. Let's head on back to... the mainland here. Right? Because we can't call for Odaving at the castle. We can only be dropped off. I believe. Alright. Let's do a quick save. And Oh Aving! There we are. Get bend will ready. Cross our fingers, hope that Odaving shows. Hey, there we are. Two hours. Uh-oh. Okay. Not that bad. And then let's bend will. Oh shit. Dude was way too fast. Okay, let's give it a shot again. Oh gosh! Ooh, barely. <laughs> By pure luck. Zoof and arm. I am it. How can I serve you, Thuri? Okay, great. Now, let's head on over to... Should we go directly to the location, or should we try to hit, like, Falkreath or whatever? Hmm. I wonder. Or even Lakeview, right? Because we could rest down there. I don't remember how much... How much shit we have to do. Yeah, let's go to... Let's go to Falkreath and rent a room. That seems like a good idea, because I don't want to get sleepy while we're there and have our vision all blurred for the fun moment. I will look for a spot to land. Hey, there we go. Oh shit. Okay. Great. Wait. I know you. You don't know me. I'm just some guy who got here off of a dragon. You're doing a fine job. <laughs> you know, it happens all the time. There we are. Yes. 
up in Let here. Eat anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll and send someone over. And let's get a room. Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? No, dickhead. I'd just like a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. People in Skyrim land just mean as hell, right? <laughs> just like, to yeah. Let me know if you look like uh, you know. never go outside, fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're a werewolf, they're just like, damn, you smell like a fucking wet dog. Why don't you take a bath, you smelly asshole? <laughs> what the fuck? There we are. I'm surprised we don't walk around as a Dunmer and they're like, ooh, gross, what the fuck happened to your eyes, you freak? <laughs> Jeez, you look like you got cursed by a Daedric Prince. <laughs> fuck. Okay, there we are. Good, good, good. Let us... Indara and I like to keep to ourselves and run our farm. Is there somewhere we can, like, get a quick suck? Can we do, like, a quick suck somewhere around here? Hmm. Who would even be sleeping right now? I guess we could, like, bust into the guard barracks. They're always, like, alternating shifts. Probably somebody sleeping. Oh, or grave concoctions, maybe? No, they're they're still open, technically. Yeah, let's check the barracks. We might be able to get away with it here. Wait, I know you. Okay, there's someone sleeping over here. Great, let's do a quick save just in case this asshole notices. <laughs> do you think they'll notice? Okay, feed. Mmm. <laughs> okay, thank goodness the peripheral vision in those helmets is just like complete ass. They have no idea. Okay, great. I love it. Let's head on out. Alright. And then, we do have a tract, right? Yeah. Excellent. Looks like the moth priest's knife is on the exterior as well. Or is it? Yeah, because on our radar, it's saying we have to enter, but on our world map, it's saying it's out here. There, there's skies. Oh, should we call for Dernavir right here real quick? Maybe. Let's, let's do it. Oh, oh, shit. Ugh. sounds so bad. It sounds so weird. It's like I'm speaking backwards. I'm in the fucking Black Lodge, baby. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Is it because I'm too close to Falkreath or whatever? I can't do it? There we go. You have kept your side of the bargain. Now let me fulfill mine. Okay. Feel the last word of soul tearing within yourself. Ooh, I don't think I want to feel that. Soul. The unlife that results... Hope we reach Ancestor Glade soon. Sorry, sir. Dead flesh. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want to Who's actually there? feel zombie inside of me at all. Anything related to that whatsoever. Oh shit, what the fuck? Uh... We straight up aggroed these bozos over here. Okay. That's fine. We'll just continue on up toward the fun little glade. There we are. Actually, you know what? They might be the perfect targets, because aren't they usually quite low-leveled? Let's hit a quick save and try it out. We can hit them with a Vamp Lord special. As Dernavir is like dive-bombing the hell out of them. Okay. I'm not gonna die like this. There we go. Oh, there's someone already there fighting. Oh, I think it's one of the bone men, huh? Yeah, look at that. They're actually quite low. Whew! I almost didn't get that one. Oh no! Rocks! 
Okay. Is there another one? Was it just them? It was just one dude? A single dude. Can I... Can I jump? Yeah, there we are. Do quite the uh, fun little jump animation while we're floating. <laughs> Look at that. It's a little wild. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Just like kick your legs out like you're on a swing set or whatever. Okay. Head on over here. Oh shit. Oh gosh. We must be near an enemy because our bats have appeared. <laughs> is that an enemy or is that Serana? Oh, it is a bandit. Shit, this one has some strength. Okay, let's go melee mode. Oh, whoops. I was hitting like a mist man or something. So Dernavir is just like straight up summoning them, huh? Yes, man. Oh my gosh, we got perk two and everything. Hell yeah. Look, and there's a bear back here now, too. Oh shit, the bear is fucking indestructible. Okay. What if I turn on my reflexes and just start, like, doing ultra smacks? Look at this. It's really good at turning. Who would have thought that bears were so fucking agile? Oh my god! Mistworm, go! Okay, are we good? How do I make it stop? I'm ready to fight. Whew. Oh shit, more bandits. Jeez. Is this one a baby? No, this one is tough as shit. Oh dear lord. You'll be so much easier. Bandit Plunderer, are they weak as well? No, they're not. Okay, we'll just- we'll top ourselves off and then we'll go into melee mode, I think. There we are. And then- oh, we've still got reflexes bound. Okay. Go, good. Holy shit. They have too much power. I don't even know where Serana is at this point. Oh gosh. Oh look. Hey. Yeah, me too. Hey, look at this! This is perfect! Uh-oh. Oh dear. Check out our bats, just like making them scream in horror. Or in pain. Something. Oh yeah, look at that. Our supernatural reflexes have kicked back. Do your worst. If I can just get it, that's your best. Then up. Oh shit. No, we are routed. Hold back. Yes. All right, one more. Okay, and then let's go melee mode reflexes again. Is it worth it to do the power attacks? I'm not sure. It might be staggering them, I, I can't tell. Mercy. Oh, perfect. 
sucked them both right off. Hell yeah. Okay, good. Should we revert? I feel like we ought to. Oh wait, here, let's buy our penultimate perk point. There we go. Summon a gagoyle. There we are. I feel like the, uh, the paralysis attack would have been pretty nice, but I guess you can't get the melee finisher off if they're animation locked into the paralysis stuff, you know? So maybe not. Oh, jeez. How do we even get up to this? Is it right here? Oh, no, wait, this is... Okay, the path continues. My bad. <laughs> All right. Good. Head on up here. Oh, wow. I heard an owl. I don't know if I've ever heard an owl in Skyrim land. What the hell? Did you hear the fucking owl hooting at us? I don't know if I've ever heard an owl. Oh, that's wild. I guess it only really plays out here by Falkreath, you know? It's the only place that kind of makes sense that has, like, the trees for it. Maybe we've heard owls out by Morthal, right? That seems like an owl-ass kind of place. I don't know. I don't know shit about owls. Oh, look. What the fuck? Oh, we must have done all this. We'll steal their venison chop. Search an ice wolf or anything? No. They got a little bedroll. Pop open their magic treasure. There we are. Love they got. Oh, yeah, of course they were fucking loaded. <laughs> Man, what a great perk. Okay, cool. Good. Let's do a quick save. All right. Finally back here. The place is remarkably kind of warm. If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexian and I are going to have some words when we get back. I mean, what do you think he's going to say to you? He's just going to keep appeasing us, right? He ain't going to say anything particularly interesting. Yes. All right. Hey, do you have anything else to say about this? Nah. Fair enough. Okay. Let's head on over. Oh. Some hanging moss. You know what? I am going to take it. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't even need it, but I'm going to take it anyway. Here we are. Good, yeah. Can we hear them? Oh, I can't even loot these ones. Can I kill them? Poof! Wow, they're indestructible. Huh. Okay, well. Let's head on down here. Hopefully I'll... Look at this place. No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. Yeah, he said that there. This was the only one in Skyrim. You're, you're, you're you ain't wrong, Serrani. You ain't wrong. I thought you were paying attention to what the dude was saying. It's pretty important stuff. Okay, I guess that's that's why I'm leading us around. Okay, should I take a mountain flower? Why not? What the hell was this here before? I guess so. Hey, I feel like I've seen this tool before somewhere. Oh shit, I'm taking one of the moths. Where have I seen this kind of tool? Do people who like harvest sap or like tar and shit like that from trees? Is this like a tool that they use? Maybe that's where I've seen it. Well, we got the knife. Now all we need to do is track down one of those canticle trees. Oh, you mean this ain't it? <laughs> Hang on. Serana, ain't this it? Yeah. Check it out, Serana. Just tracked one down. Pretty tough shit, you know? Pretty fucking hard work. <laughs> it's right over here growing out of this weird, like, hot spring. Oh, cool. Wow. I hope the moths like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. A custom little animation. Look at them. I've definitely taken a liking to you. And unless I'm seeing things, you're starting to glimmer. What? Am I? What are you talking about? 
Okay. I wonder why they are drawn to the bark. You know? Hmm. Like I said, I'm surprised there's not, like, loads of these trees growing here. With, like, the bark just shaved off of them all over town. Too bad I didn't get two units of bark. Right, given our- <laughs> given our fucking alchemy perk. Just toss one over to Serana. Here, you can try it too. Just read one of the Elder Scrolls for fun. Why not? We'll see what you do in the- the next game that you show up in. <laughs> yeah, Serana, take one of these barks, uh, read an Elder Scroll. We'll see if- what's gonna happen in Elder Scrolls 6. You're definitely gonna be there. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, yeah, I am kind of glimmering. Or glowing, more like. Yeah, I've got, like, my own, uh, self-contained skybox around my person. But look at this, Serana. I've got my own skybox. Okay. Sure, how many more do we need? Okay, one more after this. There we go. Oh, neat. Enter the Column of Light and read the Elder Scroll Blood. What if we just read the wrong one? <laughs> Hang on. Let's do a quick save. What if we just read a different one? Okay, here we are. This is some fucking, like, Legend of Zelda seeming shit going on, by the way, you know? Doesn't this feel very Legend of Zelda? I don't know. Especially with the, like, beam of light on the ground. I don't know, it just very much evokes Legend of Zelda to me. Okay. There we are. Let's read the sun one. What'll happen? Oh, of course nothing happened. I guess the Elder Scrolls just didn't want it to happen, you know? <laughs> you know, the Elder Scrolls didn't want it to happen. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, well, let's try the blood one. Nervous? I wasn't before, Serata, but now I'm really nervous. I definitely am. Well, what am I doing? We're just like reading all three. Ah, Green Emperor Way. Okay. Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. Okay, well, uh, I don't- I don't really know what to make of that. It looked kind of like a map of Skyrim. Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. Yeah, I saw some- some weird stuff. Don't worry, I'm fine. That felt strange. Never mind that, it worked. It felt strange. I could see it in your eyes. You looked about a thousand leagues away. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? I have no idea. It's in a place card called Darkfall Cave? I divined that from looking at it? Okay. Then it's almost over. We can finally rewrite the prophecy as we see fit. Where is this Darkfall Cave? This must be how people felt, uh, whenever, like, reading was being invented. And someone wrote down a whole bunch of shit and they- someone read it and they were like, Wow, you could tell all that just by all this shit on the paper? <laughs> hey, the scrolls gave me its exact location. Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Yeah, they came over and they were like, Hey, let me mark it on your map. Another settlement needs your help. There we are. What do you know about Oriel's bow anyway? Not much. If you read any history, it shows up from time to time, but it's a hard thing to track. As far as I know, though, it's never been held by a vampire. That would be a new one. What does it have to do with the sun? Ariel is one of the elven gods. He's with the rest of them in Aetherius. 
The way I've heard it, the sun represents the connection from our world to theirs. Supposedly, the bow draws its energy from the sun itself, which is why it shows up in that prophecy. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Serana, are we okay? Wh what exactly does it do? In that part, I don't know. Once we have it, hopefully it'll be obvious. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, let's uh, let's start vamping out, I guess. How'd they find this place? We being trailed? Oh shit! Damn you! Are any of them there, like, particularly weak? I guess this one kind of is. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I have no idea what their health really is. Oh, it's terrible. Hey, we got one of them. That's the best you can do. Is there an archer lord over there? Oh shit, there are. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. There's at least two. Oh gosh. I think because, of, like, I start hovering on the water, yeah, it, like, automatically pulls out my cast magic. Even though I'd rather be meleeing them. Do one more supernatural reflexes right here. I cannot best you. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, revert form. Oh gosh. Let's re equip our weapon here. Sunder, there we are. have to do okay you got anything on you a full plate helmet it almost reminds me of Mirax hat you know okay sure little uh, fucking suspicious though with the marking right here in the forehead with this kind of uh, these eye slits and stuff you know kind of reminds me of something not great <laughs> Right? Kind of reminds me of a little something uh, from the real world. Doesn't seem too good. <laughs> okay. Let's go on over this way. Oh, nice. Let's see. You got anything in particular? Nah. There we are. One more, I think. What was that? A potion of destruction? Wonder where that was set up at. Alright. Good, good, good. What have you got? Shit, I thought Vincent Van Gogh was dead. Teamwork right there. there we are. Good. Got anything of interest? Heavy gauntlets? Eh, that's it. Okay. Hey. Oh. What is it? No? Nothing? Okay. Fair enough. So we, we're just to immediately go get the bow, right? Or at least track this down. A Darkfall cave, it seems. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. How do we want to handle this? I'm pretty sure the bow isn't there, is it? Maybe it is. Can't remember. 
Maybe you have the bow already by the time you go to that valley that I keep thinking of. I could have sworn you got it there, but maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking- Oh, maybe I'm thinking of the shield. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I'm, like, conflating the two of them. Gotta be. Okay. Sure. Well, you know what? Maybe... We go weave in a few more somethings or the others, you know? Maybe we go... Hit up our little place in... Lakeview. Head over and turn in these jobs for the Thieves Guild. And then we go turn a vampire at Winterhold, huh? Seems like a good idea to me. Okay. Where'd you oh, come shit! From? What the fuck? Oh, it's a dragon! Is this like a guaranteed dragon? Or did it just so happen to be like the time worked out? Okay, well. Hey, maybe we won't have to go over to Lake. Perfect. Alright, where are you going, land at? Oh, right here. Perfect. What's that weird noise? Is that like a wolf howling? But also not attacking? Maybe that was Serana. She just forgot what she was. She wanted to pretend to be wolfing out. She heard about all of our fun exploits. Okay. How do we want to handle this? So, right, yeah, we should go to Riften first, turn in and get new Thieves Guild stuff, and then go to Winterhold. Because we can take a carriage over to Winterhold. Yeah, that sounds like a perfect idea. Good, good, good. Jesus, are there people fighting down there? Sound like some clashing metal or whatever. Yes, Oh my gosh, look at this thing's fucking spiky ass back. This cannot be comfortable. Oh shit. I will look for a spot to land. Okay, this time for sure. There we are. Lovely. Yeah, look at that. I'm sitting on, right on top of one of the spikes. It's going right up into my fucking butthole. <laughs> Alright, shit. It doesn't seem like very fun. Oh shit, yeah, look, it's the Dawn Guard here. Man, these bozos are turning up everywhere, huh? Oh, they got like a base out this way? <laughs> oh shit, the, that one was really weak. Would have been the perfect target for one of our vamp feedings. Whoa, it actually hit my shield for once. That's it. That's your best. I'll make it. There we are. What have you got? You got anything good? Nah. I'm surprised that they're walking around without cure disease potions, right? That's a little wild. I thought, because remember, I, th I always thought it was such a nice little detail that the, um, what do you call them? The, oh, what was their group name? Fuck me. The Vigilance of Stendar and shit, right? That they always carried around potions of cure disease, given the fact that they were fighting vampires and shit so frequently. It, it completely made sense. And yet here, the group that is, like, the Vigilance of Sendar, sure, they fight vampires, but not just, you know? And yet the Dawn Guard, they ain't got any of that stuff. Alright. I forget, when you are sided with the Dawn Guard, is there a request to, like, get a alchemist on board with the, the group? With the team? I can't remember. I don't think so. I know there is for, like, the animal trainer or whatever. Oh shit, is this fucker trying to, like, get us now? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Our regen is a little bit fucked right now. Oh shit. And we have, like, two or three different music tracks playing. All 
right, we may as well use these potions. Good. Thanks for the ride, asshole. What have you got? Rubies, I'll take it. A little bit of money, too. Cool. All right. Let's head on back into town. Oh, do we actually need to learn those other words of Dernavir's shout? Yeah, we do. Your zoom cuts through flesh and shatters soul, commanding the will of the fallen. Oh. Does it work on anybody? That sounds fun. Maybe if it has no uh, limit to it, it'd be pretty useful, pretty good. All right. Let's head on down into the guild. There we are. Oh, another thief. Somewhere. Hey, watch what you're doing. Meanwhile, they don't give a shit about the dragon out there, huh? <laughs> right? Fucking nobody was out there helping me deal with the dragon or the Dawn Guard or anything. Oh, Snippy! Where's, um, what's her name? Valeria or whatever her name was. What was her fucking name? Started with a V, didn't it? Hello? Valerie. <laughs> It's just a very contemporary name, Valerie. Okay. I don't know, maybe Valerie isn't like... Right, maybe it's, maybe it's like, it means valor. Like a valorous warrior, or something like that. It actually, like, is really an old name. Okay. Let's see. Always a pleasure, boss. Here we are. What could I do for you? I completed the numbers job. I hardly noticed you was gone. I'd love another Bloody one. good timing. Just got some more clients. Wow, perfect. Who's bringing them here? Okay. Got just the one for you. Ledger's just begging to be changed. And the guild could use the coin. I'll yeah, do it. alrighty. Good luck out there, boss. Okay, and Vex. Our guild master Gr I did the burglar. muck it up, I hear. Good. Here's your share. Okay, extra got work. more than you can handle. More burglary. Have a house with a good bit of valuables inside. I'm in. All right, take this and get out of here. Okay, so we had what? Windhelm and Solitude again. Wow, we just keep getting these two back to back. Holy shit! Where are the chances? It's like three batches of quests in a row have been between Windhelm and Solitude. That exact same combo. Weird. Okay, over here. And then... Let's pop that. And I think we'll go out over by way of... Uh, let's see. What do you call it? Man, there's another dragon? I guess to be fair, the one that we got was actually out by Falkreath. It just so happened to... <laughs> to end up here somehow. How, how did it get out here? I don't know. It just it just showed up one day. Just like they all do. It was it was Alduin. It was, look, they don't know that they don't have to know that Alduin's dead now. They don't have to know. Or maybe it was just some like lingering shit going on, right? We killed Alduin in a fucking weird place. There's gotta be some kind of weird lingering magic. Some like horrible force at play. Okay. Don't like Let's those head eyes on you out. got. There's a bad hunger to them. Where do you want to go? Let's go to Winterhold. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Okay. We'll do a quick save just I in can't case. Wait here forever. Lovely. Okay, and we'll look for this Heron or Haran person of the inn. I'm not sure how we're gonna turn them in a very inconspicuous way, but I don't know. We'll give it a shot. Welcome. Let me know if you want. Oh, they actually do sleep down here. 
Okay, perfect. Great. Let's do a quick save again. Thank goodness they actually sleep down here in a cellar. Are they sleeping right now? Holy shit, jackpot. Oh wait, what? Who the hell is this? This is not who I'm looking for. They're not down here anymore? <laughs> did they... Did they leave just as we did? Oh shit, I guess they did. Oh my gosh, and Vincent Van Gogh is here too. Blocking the artery. Oh look, they're standing right there over by the pole. Oh gosh, and I'm stuck here with five million different people. Okay. Here, maybe we can do it in this room. Oh shit. Wait, is she gonna go to sleep? No. Now here's a man I'm glad to see. Just yeah. say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. We may not have as much to offer huh. as White Run or Solitude, but we'll do what we can to make your stay a pleasant one. What time do you sleep? Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. Eh. Okay, do I have Vampire Seduction? Yeah, I do. Okay, great. Ah, keep your spells away from me. Shut the fuck up, Haran. Here, let's, uh, let's have a little interesting <laughs> conversation here. There we go. Great. Can we get detected when we do that? I feel like, I feel like it, it's gotta be undetectable, you know? Something's happened. I can't quite remember. Oh, they actually... I don't feel right. I'm gonna lay down. Whoa! Wow. They actually have unique dialogue right after you've done it. Huh. I didn't know that. Alright. Cool. Oh, shit. I don't there, like there doing business with Azora's faithful. Make it quick. Jeez. Alright, well, you know what? I suppose when next we come back, we'll continue on with the, uh, the big quests here. Right, we'll go get Oriel's bow, and then we'll probably weave in some more uh, side quests and whatnot, right? Seems like a good idea. I'm glad that we got to turn another person, though. I'm assuming their, their, uh, what do you call it? Their coffin will turn up down here. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I do like the idea Absolutely of seeing them more, no time to deal with low these like, days. I, I oh. guess up here. <laughs> but that's not terribly Turns conspicuous, out is it? Doesn't change much. Right. Or it is terribly conspicuous. Whereas with the last one, it was in their own personal house. Alright, well, when next we come back, we're gonna hit up those two Thieves Guild targets. Uh, we'll call for Odeving and whatnot, of course. And then we'll head over, we'll turn in this at the castle. And maybe before we turn it in at the castle, we'll go get Oriel's bow. Because we may have to report back to the castle anyway after that, right? That makes sense. All right, yeah, we got a plan. Good plan, great plan. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>